What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Q back again at y'all with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be doing a story time. Bamba Ganja, smoking on some good ganja. Subscribe to QTV, y'all. I'm from Chicago. We be stealing hot cars and on go go. We see poor po, we say, oh no, oh no. But nah, though, man, uh, y'all y'all know, man, it's Halloween and shit like that, man. I look, he like this. Like, I would look like a sexy Jamaican, bro. Like, I really do. Like, 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 real talk. This how I wears a girl up, you know, in my Jamaican accent. Hey, say, baby. <laughs> Come here, baby. Say, baby. I wonder what your poom poom smell like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you gotta hit him with a, you gotta hit him with the, the beauty, the honest lick. It always work, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, today, today, man, I got for y'all a, 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 got for y'all a story time, man. Yeah, I got y'all a story time, man. And matter of fact, it's gonna be a Halloween story time, shorty. Now look. I'm in my cousin's bathroom, and yes, I'm making this in the bathroom because for some reason, it got the best lighting, you know what I'm saying? It got them angles. I look buff as hell, I look cocky. It's like I could fuck somebody mama on the wall right here. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, back here. Yeah, get, get my dreams in the back real quick. Well, I can hit somebody mama back here, you know, and get her that good Jamaican jump in the pussy type shit. But nah, though, look. Man, I'm gonna give y'all a story time, you know what I'm saying? Back in uh this back when we was like shorties, you know what I'm saying? Um this this shit happened around Halloween, man. And this was like the scariest, scariest time of my life. You know what I'm saying? On Halloween type shit, like this shit was scary as hell for like scary for like. So long story short, right? So like we was like living on, we was living, if you from Chicago, it's a block called Homing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We was living on a block called Homing and shit. And these living in these apartments, you know what I'm saying? It was like an apartment complex type shit. And uh, well, we was living in that shit. Um, it was like Halloween. And one thing, like we had a dog named Baby, man. Like, damn, for like, damn, bro. Like y'all, I'm so mad that I went doing like when I be thinking that, that like another reason why I try my best to record everything now is because back then when I was a kid, I was not recording none of my life. And I feel like if I did record a lot of stuff of my childhood memories, I'd be you know what I'm saying? I'd been gone. But you know, it's never too late. So that's why I recorded everything now. But I had a, we had, we had pit bulls, like that's our favorite breed of dogs, like everybody that live with us, you know our favorite breed of dogs is uh, pits, so we always had pits, and no matter if it was a blue nose, red nose, whatever the fuck knows, we had pits, bro, so, uh, shit, we had a pit named Baby, I don't know why, I think we called that Baby because we had, we had Baby since we was about, We had babies since we was like, since I was like six, all the way to I was like, what? 13, 14, no, 12 or 13. So matter of fact, I think we had baby longer than that. But yeah, we had babies since we was kids to teenagers. And she grew up with us. Like we had her when she was a baby, she literally grew up with us. And uh, one day, you know, it was, uh, it was around Halloween. And one thing about Chicago on Halloween, Chicago is already bad and treacherous. So imagine how Chicago is on Halloween. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, this the early 2000s. So all the scary monsters and shit was actually scary. Like, you know, that day, this shit don't be scary. But back then, that shit was scary for me. So we, uh, I'm walking the dog, baby. Now, imagine I'm a kid, for I'm like six, seven years old. Now, we was able to go outside by ourselves because, like, we we knew the area and shit. Everybody knew us, and, like not everybody, but like, you know, it was a little comfortable. Like, you was at this before Chicago was bad and all that. You was able to do shit. You was able to go in the park, 
plan a party for six hours, go to the can, candy stand, you know what I'm saying, get a snowball, some sunflower seeds, and some hot Cheetos, and run your way back to the park, and then go home at eight, you know? You'll be able to do shit like that. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here walking baby, you know what I'm saying? Walking her like this, and, and imagine I'm on a sidewalk, like, how can I explain? Okay, this wall is our old apartment. And then this is the side street. And then this is me walking the dog. Imagine I'm a little boy, so I'm walking a pit bull. I'm walking a, a strong ass pit bull story, and I'm a little boy. So yeah, she was dragging my ass. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you ever seen somebody walk a dog and a dog dragging it? That was me as a little kid. <clears throat> I'm like, God damn, slow down. Like, you gonna use it, you in. And as I'm walking her like this type shit, I turn to my right. I look to my left. Nah, 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 nah. See it though. I turn to my right. I'm like, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Now, Mandy. Well, I'm like, who the fuck is that? I'm, 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 I'm gonna just admit this shit right now, bro. My biggest, my, 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 my most like a nigga I really feared growing up was Freddy fucking Cougar, folk. Like to me, to me, he was just the worst of the worst. Like, I ain't scared of him no more and shit, cause dog like he beat his ass off of him. Like, I really do that to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, Freddy Cougar, I was really scared of that nigga. And the real reason I was really scared of him is because he really like, his shit made sense to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was scared. Like, I get chills thinking about that nigga low key. Because his shit made sense to me. Like, oh shit, if you go to sleep and have a dream about me, I'm gonna carry you in your fucking sleep, you know what I'm saying? And it made sense. Like he's the only killer that that got the uh, supernatural power to carry your ass, and it makes sense of why he's killing. Like, like just think about it, bro. Michael Myers and Jason. These mother, you mean to tell me I could run out the house at 50 miles per hour, and these little slow ass tall niggas just walking? One set, one second per per hour, and and these niggas can catch me if I fall. Like hell no, nah, that shit. I'm not scared of that shit, man. Cougar, he was scary. He different. You feel me? Folks had a theme song, and he had the ability that if you nap and think about me, motherfucker, I'm finna. This gonna be your last stop. You know what I'm saying? That, that y'all can't tell me that ain't scary. Cause that 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 used to be his lad. Bro, you have it, bro. Let you be six years old. You have to dream about Freddy Cougar. You gonna piss on yourself? Cause he was really that scary. So back to the story, right? I had to give y'all that background on story because yeah, I was really scared of that nigga like that ass. I used to cry, nigga, fuck you tell me. But I'm walking the dog, baby. You know what I'm saying? I look, I'm out there by myself, I look. I see something, I see something like a sweater, you know, red and green sweater. I'm like, who the fuck is that? I look, for he hit on the hat too, folks. I look, folks said, do look. I need to stop saying folks, okay? I don't gang bang, all right? I'm just a Chicago nigga, and my accent is heavy right now, okay? Because I'm in story mode, nigga. So look, as I'm walking a dog and shit, she's shitting and whatever. I see a nigga, like, he at the corner. I'm like, up here, he at the corner, but I can see him. Shorty, he got on a hat, a long ass trench coat with the, with the red and, um, with the red and green sweater he wear. And I don't know why I seen the motherfucker do like this. You know what I'm saying? With the claws, like the claws come out. 
I'm all hell no for I yanked the dog like for let's go like boy we finna get out this gym cause I hear a little dead like he was he was damn not closer to my house than I was. But you know black you know when black niggas scared they run like at a hundred miles per hour. Like we run ten times fast, you feel me? So as soon as I seen that shit I'm oh hell no. Bro, I'm dragging a dog at this point. Like, the dog ain't dragging me no more. I'm dragging her. Like, bro, bring your ass home, bro. Like, I'm not finna die today. I'm gone. I kill him. Because, man, we live in an apartment. So, you got to get through this door. To get to my door, you got to get through the first door first. So, you got to get through this door. Then, run up the stairs and get to my door. Boy, ah. Ran up the alley. That's the dog, bro. Like, she know her way home. Fuck that. I got to save myself. I gotta, I gotta let the dog come. I gotta save myself. Uh, going through the door, boom, get in that, lock it. I'm in that uh, breathing like I'm finna have a heart attack because I'm so scared for like Freddy Cooper was after me. And that was a real nightmare on Am Street. But anyway, man, if y'all like this story time, man, y'all like my Jamaican accent, bomb the clock. Uh, subscribe to the video, hit that like button, man. Happy Halloween because Halloween is around the corner. My young sister to the camera. My mama just walked in here, y'all. You know. Let's listen to the camera. We're on the road to 2000. Get out, no. We're on the road to 2000, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bomba guy!